<laughs> it's these moments of bonding and feeding. Rashaya Jackson is thankful she's not missing as a young mother finishing high school. But here I can get both. Be him being watched over and me still finishing high school. There you go. Jackson, along with other mothers like Alyssa Kowalski, are students at Kingdom Care's Teen Parent Education Program in Anne Arundel County. So I feel like this is a great combination of being a parent and being a teenager and you know you get to see your baby during lunch or in your in between classes so you don't get like really anxious about your baby being so far away. Both mothers know their situations aren't the most ideal, but having a strong support system has been monumental. They're able to focus on finishing their education while also learning how to be the best parent for their baby. Yay. The school is spearheaded by Dr. Barbara Palmer, who knows exactly what her students are experiencing. I was a teen mother. I graduated from Annapolis High School, um, 12th grade, senior year, parents, home of two parents, didn't know what to do with myself, but I'm glad I had family there to walk me through the process, but it wasn't easy. Being able to meet the girls where they are fosters a nurturing relationship. Palmer says there are at least 100 teen parents who aren't enrolled in school throughout the county. But that doesn't have to be their reality, she says. So I'm now written into the budget for Anne Arundel County Public School Systems to have four certified teachers be on my facility to teach and educate the girls so that they can receive a high school diploma and not a GED. We're going to have a quick little lesson on how to make that writing better. Palmer says her students are often subjected to the stereotypes associated with being a teen parent. And sometimes young mothers are victims of horrific circumstances. She's hoping people will reconsider their thoughts surrounding teen pregnancy. It has nothing to do with being poor. It has nothing to do with you just want to live in poverty. You don't want to do anything with your life. Sometimes you don't have that, um, that self-esteem that you need, and you're looking for it in a relationship that may not be able to provide that for you. Jackson and Kowalski will graduate in the coming months, both now certain college is in their future. And being here made me realize I wanted to also go to college to, you know, take the step further. I would say I'm eternally grateful and they've given me a second chance at life, truly. Reporting in Odenton, Megan Rivers, WBAL-TV 11 News.